Well, what is happening in Syria is escalating. This coming from the Times of Israel today, posted today, Iranian forces fire 20 rockets at Israel. Really? Are we to believe that? Before I go on, I will link below to this article, Willing Slaves. Willing believers in lies are willing slaves. Because lies are coercion of the mind as opposed to coercion of the body. And anyone who willingly complies with any type of coercion, when escape from that coercion is available, and this is precisely the situation when the lie has been disproven and exposed, and when the truth has already been clearly demonstrated, is a willing slave of the mental type. A mental slave instead of a physical slave. And a willing slave to boot. The acceptance of lie after lie after lie after lie. Wow, Israelis, Americans, quite something, aren't we? The liar needs an acceptor. If people don't accept the lies, the lies die. And I was really um, happy to read the tail end of this article. Willing slaves to lies endanger far more people than merely themselves. Without a believing audience, the liars would never, would, the lies would die, the liars would be powerless, and they would be put in their place. Lying is socially acceptable in both of our nations. Why? because we made it that way. The acceptance of lie after lie after lie after lie after lie, even after the lies are exposed, we believe the next lie. So he goes into all of the examples. Saddam Hussein, oh, weapons of mass destruction. Well, those lies were exposed. There were no weapons of mass destruction. And we were an invading military force upon Iran, uh, Iraq. The U.S. and its coalition allies, the aggressors who took over a country based on lies. You would think then that Americans would stop believing all of the lies that come out of their government. And you would also think that if they were a moral people, they would have held accountable those who lied, the Bush, the Cheneys, the, uh, the whole regime. But no, we just went on to Obama and listened to all of his lies. And we have been, we are the countries that we claim are evil. It's us here. Now we got Trump. And Trump, um, he, he reminds me of Kim Jong Un. What we claim about Kim Jong Un, crazy. Crazy man, crazy man, Trump, crazy man, Netanyahu, crazy man. We are not civilized. We are murderous. We are lying, treacherous, dangerous to world peace. And you know what? It's now only Americans and Israelis who think they're civilized. Most of the world, see. The United States and Israel as the greatest threat to world peace because we demonstrate it all the time. We are the aggressor. Iran hasn't attacked any country in centuries. So it is going to, right when Trump pulls out of that Iran deal, 
That's when they decided to shoot off rockets into Israel? Really? It's kind of like when Trump said that animal Assad used chemical weapons against his own civilians. And Assad did that a week after Trump said he was going to pull out of Syria. It's degrading. It is degrading to listen to liars repeatedly because they degrade you with their lies, but by you accepting them, you degrade yourself. You're in a dance together. You know, it's the acceptors. The liar shoots out their bad seed. And the acceptors water it. I'm sick of it. Do you know that the Syrian crisis is escalating? Trump bombing Syria a couple of months ago or a month ago. The bombing hasn't stopped. And the U.S., the Israeli militaries have continued to attack Syria. Mainstream media, no doubt, is not telling anybody about this, but the Syrian crisis is only in its beginning stages. The assault on Syrian military positions last night, apparently a U.S.-Israeli Israeli operation, is evidence that the crisis continues to develop. Israel shot rockets into Syria. This was posted May 1. Israel will assassinate Syria's Assad if he allows Iran to operate in Syria. We're in Syria. Uh, did we get an invitation? No. We're taking over Syria. We have about a third of Syria. We've got military bases in that third of Syria. We have military bases and Israel is claiming that Iran has military bases when they don't. They have advisors in Syria. Iran is an ally of Syria. Yeah, it, It's so unbelievable that we could listen to our leaders claim that Syria doesn't have a right to have allies. And we go in and bomb other countries uh, when they have not attacked us or, or, or even a threat to us. We go in with our allies and take over those countries. But then we listen to our leaders claim that Iran and Syria, they don't have a right to protect themselves against the real aggressor, Israel. United States. It's a wow. It, it really, it, it just, it flips reality on its head. Aggression on Syrian sites prelude to something more serious, and this was also posted May 1. Three Syrian military facilities near Hama and Aleppo's airport were struck, locations where Iranian military advisors are based. Israel always refuses to comment and doesn't take any responsibility for any of its acts of aggression. But early April, Israeli warplanes terror bombed Syria's T-4 air base. The attack conducted from Lebanese airspace causing numerous Syrian and Iranian casualties. Twenty missiles were fired, eight intercepted and destroyed. And now Israel is claiming that Iran sent 20 rockets into Israel. Wow, the numbers. What consistency, huh? Um, they killed 15 people. Eight were Iranian. But Iran doesn't have any right to defend itself against Israel. Israel can kill whoever the hell they want. United States can kill whoever the hell they want. They kill children. They kill pregnant women. They drop their bombs from drones or military planes. We have boots on the ground in Syria. But Syria doesn't have a right. Iran doesn't have a right. It is the most disgusting hypocrisy. It is so obvious and glaring today that it is really hard to stomach. But the Israeli war minister 
ominously said, Iran is in its final days and will soon collapse if its forces attack Israel the IDF will destroy every Iranian military outpost in Syria threatening Israel well Iran doesn't have military outposts the United States does seven countries five years Syria and Iran were on that list and you know, the Islamic Republic army or military in Iran, they are a very capable military. Israelis, let me just say to you, you believing all of the lies coming out of your Zionist government, coming out of Netanyahu, coming out of your ministers of defense and energy and all your government officials, your acceptance of these lies, you're a tiny, tiny little country. What the hell are you doing? Allowing a madman, a mad man, a crazy lunatic, take you to war against Iran. because I believe that a lot of you are going to die and have your country destroyed by your mad man not Iran and Americans forget you you love lies so you're too enmeshed you know with the evil that you've turned evil I'm sorry but that's what happens so yeah Clearly, Israel has plans, and it's going to, uh, it's not going to be good. Israel opens bomb shelters, bracing for imminent Iranian attack. Military calls up some reserves. U.S. Embassy issues travel warning for Golan Heights. Trump, hey, he's the guy who can get the job done. The next few days I think will be telling.